Hello everyone, and welcome back to our adventures in Wildcraft, where we are continuing on with our mini packs of wolves, our prides of lions, our gatherings of crocodiles, we've even got eagles, we have horses, we have bears. It has been quite an adventure for many, many seasons and many, many episodes in our Wildcraft realm of the Starry Skies ancestors, doing our best to duke it out in the spiritual realm. As we get ready for our creatures to be reborn and tell their adventures in Wolf Quest, in Planet Zoo, and in so many of our other series. And I am ready to return because there are some rumors of extremely big updates coming out for Wildcraft in the near future. And I know that they are going to be perfect, especially because rumors have it there's going to be a new striped big cat showing up pretty soon. The largest of all the big cats, even larger than our lions, uh, hopefully by the end of the month and I know that you guys are going to want to see them and I know I am ready for, to return and continue our quest for all of those moon eggs. So welcome back friends. Do check out the link to the video description down below that will link you to the playlist for all of our Wildcraft adventures to a wiki that will help explain some of what's going on and otherwise we are going to return to our lion pride for now. There is quite a bit of drama going on with our cheetah coalition that we have and there are rumors of a very deadly and dangerous curse arriving for our wolves but all of those matters have turned the starry skies attention back to our pride of lions where they're hoping that celestial will be able to guide her sons and her mate to making the pride even stronger so that these the strongest of all of our animals can slowly and surely gain the strength that's needed to conquer whatever curses and whatever nefarious deeds are spreading through our other packs as well. So the Starry Skies ancestors have given us a new quest to search through the boar spirits, the lynx spirits, and the wolf spirits, as you guys can see over to the right there, uh, and figure out what secrets they happen to be hiding. We are also trying very hard to get our lions up to level 50, which is where we need to actually be in order to use the uh, very interesting, where the heck are they? I can't, uh, ah, these guys, to be able to use the moonstone moon eggs, which we are really after. And I don't have very many of them yet because we just now have finally figured out how to defeat a enemy who is level 50 or higher. And that is the bear who rules over the winter woods, who we are slowly but surely trying to steal the strength from, but I really want to be able to use those powers of transformation because it is powers given to us by moon eggs of all things. Clearly that is a strong source of strength for our moon pack. Come on guys. I'm very excited about that. So we're going to be working on that and let's see, what else do we have over here? I think we have a whole bunch of achievements that we need to work on and there's this new thing, the rank. I think this may have been here before, but I really would love to become a champion of the wild. I can't believe that after all of the adventures we've done, we're still only at Apprentice. But let's actually see how high we can go up. Uh, now that we're going to go ahead and give Celestial just a moment, just a moment to be able to reflect on the strength that we have gathered for the Pride. So also we have some new skins, it seems. I think it's this one. And oh, these two are so amazing. I can't wait to see if we end up with another lioness who can follow after her mother's footsteps. Lionesses run a lion pride after all, and it's slightly to Celestial's concern that she hasn't had a single daughter yet. Two sons and her mate are wonderful, but she really needs a daughter that can follow after her pa steps and lead this pride and possibly even start up a little pride of her own. We also have a new accessory, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. And Celestial is not wearing this legendary hat. Like, that's that's not happening. No. Nuh-uh. Uh, we have some new eye colors for the- Ooh, purple! Yes! Purple, we have the all-white one for when Celestial goes into, like, her really, really spiritual form. And we have a new- is it this one? That seems like something that her sons would always be doing. <laughs> Just flat cat in it. So we do have some new things for the lions. We'll have to see if we can increase their strength today with their blessings given from the Starry Skies ancestors. And otherwise, let's check out this rank thing. I want to see... Okay, we completed that. Is that going to do something? I think it inched us up a little bit. 
on okay grow a cub to the last step okay we did that okay i think you have to like all right all right we unlock skins oh <gasps> you guys i think this is like an opportunity for oh my gosh i think this is an opportunity for the starry skies ancestors yes to go ahead and reflect on celestial strength here so we have made it to adventure heck you know what? I kind of want to go ahead and like celebrate that by getting a special chest because this is really fun and it would be fun to get like an ultimate chest to be like our, our moon pack has gained strength enough that we have these blessings. So I think we might do that. Reach level 100 by any animal to be able to work our way up from adventure? Are you kidding me? We have grown up one cup or cub. Unlock seven legendary skins. <gasps> Three different animals to level 70. We have unlocked five pets. We have leveled up to level 70? Are you kidding me? This is gonna be so much harder than I thought it was. I can't believe this. So I guess our next quest is going to be reach level 100 in our adventures. That's gonna be a heckin' thing to do because we tell stories the entire time we adventure. Oh my gosh. Well, at least we have a new goal, and I am absolutely going to say that the Starry Skies ancestors have gone ahead and they have reviewed the achievements that our many, many members of the pack have been able to do. And we are going to unlock an ultimate chest in honor of the uh, fact that we have at least reached the rank of adventurer. So let's do this. <gasps> a duplicate legendary for our pets! <sighs> And just like that, the legendary has been turned into a quartz. But we also have, I, I guess maybe Celestial's mate can be thinking about romance and possibly getting a, a new cub involved in all of this as well. Because we do have the heart eyes for lions now and a lot of strength. I'll take the strength at least. So the Starry Skies pack is very proud. Oh look, and the rank badge changed behind the Celestial's portrait in the top left. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. Okay, you know what? We're gonna prove that we have this strength and we're gonna get serious. Let's do this. 100. I'm sure that's gonna get easier as time goes on, but Celestial is going to lead the hunt. She very much dislikes the cold, just for the record, my friends. <gasps> Did you see like the Aurora Borealis glimpse just there? She very much dislikes the cold. But it is here that the Starry Skies ancestors have sent us. It is here that they have given us the quest that they wish us to complete. And it is here that she will be searching out the strength that must be attended to in order to move on. Wait, were those level... Okay, they need to be level 50 if we're going to get the benefit from them. Are you really... Really? You're going to try to sass? You're going to try to slap, like, sass Celestial? You just made a big mistake. She is... She doesn't like the cold. She doesn't want to be here. Now you're sassing her and like attacking her. That was that was bad news for you, fox spirits. But don't worry, once they gather enough energy, they will appear again, much weakened because we have claimed their strength, but they will reappear here in the spirit realm where our many many animals spend time trying to gain strength for their individual packs, prides, groups, coalitions and affect what happens back in the physical realm. Because we, we, we like to imagine that our wildcraft adventures are in a spirit realm, which is why things work the way they do. And then it's a constant exchange of energy in between all of the different creatures as they battle for strength in the afterlife that will one day help their, their physical realm offspring and descendants and reincarnations gain strength. All right, we're gonna take out, like, Celestial is, she does not like the cold. She's in the bad mood. We're just gonna do our best. And we will work our way towards that, that, okay, there's a bunch of skunks. She really doesn't like being stinky either. That is something that the skunk, uh, what would we call the skunk? Like, I guess the skunk spirits have over her. As if she can, she is going to ignore them because she very much dislikes being stinky. All right, let's take out the lynx. 
I think that she has respect for the small lynx clan because they, you know, they remind her of herself a little bit. They're small cats after all. She does see the boar clan as entirely just food. Food in the afterlife, food in real life, and she has no time for their shenanigans. All right. And when we get both Celestial and Leonis up to level 40, we will actually be able to go ahead and have another lion cub. And we're very much hoping for a daughter this time. But it is entirely up to the dice of destiny to decide. Not only if we have, uh, we reincarnate one of the males or females from our wolf quest adventures, which is where all of this has its roots in. Or if we end up having... Oh, what's that? Oh, one of the wolves! But it's a stranger wolf pack. That would evoke even more, like, deep and ancient. Oh man, th these group, this this pride of lions is just so ridiculously strong. But yeah, challenging a stranger wolf would be even more primal to Celestial's background, because before she was reincarnated in this realm as a lion, she was, of course, a wild wolf in our wolf quest adventures. I love doing crossovers. All right, down you go. So we'll take out the boar. I very much would love having a lion cub. So let's see how much we can eat. There we go. We'll let her eat. Leonis, are you almost ready? Does he have enough strength? He is, oh, he is quite strong. We'll increase his power. We'll increase the power of the boys quite a bit. So they've got very strong bite, Celestial's power too. Everybody is basically as strong as they can be in power. Uh, and we'll, Celestial's got good health. We'll give her a little bit more health to represent her strength. She's really getting up there though. Oh, one of the moose. All right, all respect little tiny cat, but our pride rules over your own. And thus your energy should be ours. All right, and let's take out this moose. Look at the size of this thing. Okay, now we we need to be a little more careful. This is definitely, oh my gosh, oh no. He summoned help. Oh, thank goodness that we ran. We did not need him causing issues. Oh my word, I didn't know that the moose would like defend each other. Um, and this is definitely, this is like taking out a, a very small pointy elephant in a way. So this is definitely a prey item that we need to use caution for. All right, let's see if we can take out the other moose. Maybe we'll gather our energy for just a moment since Celestial tends to be the bait. All right. The sooner we do this, the sooner we can get out of this blasted cold after all. All right, and we'll roar a few times to say that she's like helping to direct the attack. Nice, I think Leonis just leveled up too. Yep, he did, closer and closer. What an appetite she has, but she is quite eager to be able to invite in having that lion cub fairly soon. All right, meanwhile, let us continue on and we'll see if we have what it takes to defeat the bear of the forest soon. Our mission takes us to some of the stranger wolves and the small cats, as she likes to call the lynxes. But any prey that get in our way are going to become victim to her very large appetite right now. Oh man, that like takes no time at all. The lion pride is just ridiculously strong. It, I mean, but getting up to level 100? Ah, oh, that's gonna be so hard, but I want to do it. I want to do it because we have gone on so many of these adventures. You guys love the Wildcraft stories we tell so much. My, my beloved Niesling loves them too. We're gonna make it happen. All right, a stranger wolf not happening here. I'll go ahead and stun him with a couple barks, or excuse me, a couple roars. Oh, wow, we've almost completed the- oh, there's a skunk. Nope, Celestial, like, if, if it chases us, that's one thing. And the boys can deal with it. But Celestial is not going to inquire- oh, pray! She is not going to pursue. There we go. 
There goes one. That really isn't a problem. We have an extremely hungry and strong pride of lions. <laughs> that is no issue at all. We're getting closer and closer and closer to her being able to have a little lion cub who can come and join us. And we are letting the bear know that we are bearing in on his territory. Stranger Wolf Pack absolutely cannot deal with any competition here. It's not happening. All right. There we go. And now we just need to be able to find one more small cat if we can. AKA the lynxes. We respect those small cats. They are quite intriguing. But they must know how to submit to the strength of our Starry Skies pack, after all. Alright, there we go. And the wolf pack, that's just inexcusable to ignore them. Alright. Well, let's see. If, is there a lynx nearby? If there is, we will complete that quest and be able to unlock another one of the grand chest. And if not, I do think that everyone is either gathering their strength or dodging us. All right, yes. And if not, let's go ahead, my friends. And we're going to let Celestial to rest for a moment. She very much dislikes this cold. But we'll rest and we will receive our ancestor blessings now and see what, what they have to offer the Starry Skies Pack. So, all right, let's do this, guys. Let's go ahead and give Celestial the first of the Starry Skies Ancestors Blessings. All right. Can't wait for us to have a come. come on. All right, Elixir and a little pirate hat. Oh, my gosh. A pirate hat for the wolves. Maybe that's a, a sign that we definitely need to be pursuing any of the rival packs who live here in the wintry woods. And I see blue eyes duplicate for the horses, which again tell me that we are supposed to be gathering strength from the uh, pirates, aka the rival wolf pack here in the winter woods. Um, yeah, because it's icy here. So blue eyes. I love trying to translate these ancestor blessings into something really super unique. So let's see what Leonis actually gets. And I think Leonis is gaining wisdom here and strength here and also thinking about how to stay warm in the cold, which makes a lot of sense. But it's good to see Leonis, who's usually a little bit timid. He, he was quite a coward before, like, we actually had Celestial show up and start showing him the way. Uh, but it's good to see that Leonis is starting to learn something from these adventures. And then for their sons, Basil being one of them. Oh, okay, duplicate. I think Basil is just relaxing, but he is also learning something and gaining strength. So he is following in his parents' paw steps. And for Shadow, their final son. Oh, cool! Look at this! A beautiful shadowy horse skin. I love it. And also, maybe Shadow is finally being touched by some of the strength of his mother's moon, uh, like, prophecy powers. Because look at those white eyes. What a way to invert the shadows. All right, guys. There we are. We have now gathered our ancestor blessings. We will have to interpret them and follow through on what their message seems to be of pursuing the strength hidden within. So, if you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful Lion Pride and for our hopes of slowly but surely climbing up the ranks of the Wildcraft ranks. Let me know how far up the ranks you guys are. It definitely slows us down to tell stories the entire way that we are leveling up, but it's pretty exciting. And most importantly, my friends, stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.